The Galvan Ballroom is a well-known entertainment venue right here in the heart of the sparkling city by the bay. And it's known for hosting a local and international acclaimed jazz and swing bands of all ethnic backgrounds. Yeah, not only that, Cordero McMurray shows us how this venue allowed integration of Hispanic, Black, and White Americans. The Galvan Ballroom was built by Rafael Galvan Sr., who was a Corpus Christi police officer, entrepreneur, and musician in 1949. It was a place for his son's band to play and for the community to gather for entertainment. The venue played a significant role in the social and cultural development of Corpus Christi by allowing different ethnicities to come together to dance and enjoy music from legendary artists. It was March 30th, 1950, and people around the Coastal Bend could see performances by Tommy Dorsey, Gene Krupa, and even Duke Ellington. This place was, was the only place that was open to people of all races from day one. Judge Bobby Galvan owns the Galvan Ballroom, and attorney Bobby Gonzalez worked there when he was younger, both remembering their childhood working various jobs there. We'd sell soft drinks over there. They would sell beer on this side. During the 50s, segregation played a big part in America's history, and the Galvan Ballroom was the first site of integrated dance in Texas. You have this, this um, space where black, white, and Latinx would all come together um, in a time in America where, you know, that's not heard of. What did segregation mean in the 50s? You have the legal segregation uh, in which separate but equal is the law of the land, in which you can legally have separate facilities for um, groups based off their racial um, identification. But the Galvan Ballroom allowed integration. Integration allows for um, the intermingling and the mixing of groups from people from a variety of groups without any kind of barriers. Clifton Pope, who's part of the Corpus Christi Black Chamber of Commerce, says it was Mr. Galvan's heart and love for others that created a place for all ethnic backgrounds to gather. Mr. Galvan said, nah, we're going to come together and unite and just enjoy the great jazz music, which led the Galvan Orchestra within itself just expanding and even starting what today is now the Texas Jazz Music Festival. This kind of defines Corpus, right? Corpus is a city that has always had this um, multicultural dynamic to it. He just saw the wonderful citizens of this community come to, coming together. And the beauty of it is that nothing happened. Nobody boycotted. He was able to pull it off, but he was only able to pull this off by having this, this courage and this conviction within himself. When I asked our Facebook viewers if they have any memories of the ballroom, people commented saying they remembered having their weddings and quinceañeras there. Memories that would last a lifetime. I myself have memories of walking up those stairs to the ballroom with my parents during their 80s. Remember both sides of this story, where I only remember one, I was born in the 70s, that building and family represent. Mr. Galvan's representation of equality and standing for what's right is something that, you know, we'll forever, forever remember him for. Freddie Martinez Sr., owner of Freddie Records, played in the Galvan Ballroom. I'm a trumpet player, you know, the, from the beginning, and, and I... And, I'm known more as a singer now, but when I played the ballroom uh, back then, before my grandfather used to rent the ballroom with the band, and I was a band because he helped me out a lot to be able to have a little job here and there. Driving by the Galvan Ballroom at 1632 Agnes Street, some might think it's just a ballroom, but Judge Bobby Galvan says the building is a time capsule of childhood memories from birthdays to weddings and other celebrations amongst different cultures. But it's more than that, it's, it's community. In 2015, the Galvan Ballroom was placed on the National Register of Historic Places and designated as a Texas Hispanic Heritage Site. It's iconic places like the Galvan Ballroom, I believe that are extremely important for the next generation because it's so easy for the young people to, to take it for granted and say, gosh, it, you know, things were always better or, or, or you could always walk into a store and you, you weren't thrown out because you were African-American. Well, at one time before the Galvan Ballroom, you were. The Galvan Ballroom still remains open to everyone. If you'd like to book your ceremony there, we have the information on our website at chrisTV.com. I'm Cordero McMurray, Chris, 6 Sunrise.